What's up YouTube? In this video here we will be learning how to turn recurring decimals into fractions. Our first step is a really nice first step because it's easy. You literally just do this. X equals, that's step one. What are we going to do for this one? X equals. All we have to do for step one, X equals. Step one, X equals. Nice and easy. So step one, you just do X equals. Step two is you need to check, does everything, not most things, does everything after the decimal point recur? 0 0.51, everything after the decimal point recurs, we can solve it. 0 0.23434, well, the 3 and the 4 recur, but the 2 doesn't, so we can't solve this one yet. 0 0.6767, 767, 767, well, the 767 recurs, but the 6 doesn't, so we can't solve this one yet. 0 0.66666, yeah, everything after the decimal point recurs, so we can solve it. So that's step one, x equals. Step two, does everything after the decimal point recur? I'm now going to show you step three. Let's start with 0 0.3 recurring. So we've got step one, we've got step two. 0 0.3 recurring, what's our first step? x equals. Our next step, does everything after the decimal place recur? Yes, so we're able to solve this one. x equals 0 0.3 recurring. What we now need to do is we need to count how many numbers are after the decimal place. There is one number after the decimal place, so we want one zero and then a one. Because there's one number after the decimal place, everything moves one to the left. We're timesing it by 10. So everything's moving one to the left. Decimal point stays in exactly the same place. Everything's moving one to the left. This is three forever and ever and ever. So when you move it to the left, it still is three forever and ever and ever and ever. Now we get to what I think is probably my favorite step in the whole of maths. I just think it's so, so, so clever. Whoever came up with it, is an absolute genius. Because what we do is we subtract this from this. 10x take away x. 9x. 3 take away 0. 3. 0.3 recurring, take away 0.3 recurring, where they both are just 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 forever, so they cancel out. Now we want to make x the subject. So divide both sides by 9 x equals 3 over 9 and we can simplify that to x equals 1 over 3. Let's do another question. 0 0.259. 0 0.259 and it's 0 0.259 recurring. So that's 0 0.259, 259, 259, 259. Our first step always x equals. Our next step, does everything after the decimal place recur? 259, yeah. Our next step, one, two, three numbers after the decimal place. So one, two, three zeros. And then a one, so a thousand x. Now we want to move everything because it's a thousand x with one, two, three zeros. Three to the left. 259, Decimal point stays exactly in the same place. And because it's 259 forever and ever and ever, when we move it to the left, it just stays as 259 forever and ever and ever and ever. Now, same as last time, my favourite step. 1000x, take away x. 999x. 259, take away zero. And then these two cancel out. Make x the subject by dividing both sides by 999. So 259 over 999, and we've done it again. We've turned that horrible recurring decimal into a gorgeous fraction. Okay, two more examples, 0 0.36 recurring. Our first step stays the same, x equals. Our second step, checking if everything after the decimal place recurs. So that's 36, 36, three, the three recurs, the six recurs, we're good to go. There are one, two numbers after the decimal point, so we have one, two, zeros. So it's going to be 100x. There are one, two numbers and one, two, zero. So we move everything one, two to the left. Three, six, 
0.36. Recurring. Now, I think it's the best step in the whole of maths. 100x take away x, 99x. 36 take away 0, 36. And these two cancel out. Divide both sides by 99. 36 over 99. And we can simplify this to 12 over 33. And then we can simplify that again to make it 4 over 11. One final example. Let's do 0 0.152. Zero point one five two. Our first step, x equals, it's always x equals. Our second step, check that everything after the decimal point is recurring. Well here it's one, five two, five two, but the one isn't recurring. So we can't solve this one yet. The good news is, is in the next video, I'll be going over how to solve questions like this. So come back then when we'll finish off this topic. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe.